A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Chapter 16, verses 9 to 15. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you this. Use money, tainted as it is, to win you friends. And thus, make sure that when it fails you, they will welcome you into the tents of eternity. The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. The man who is dishonest in little things will be dishonest in great. If then you cannot be trusted with money with tainted thing, who will trust you with genuine riches? And if you cannot be trusted with what is not yours, who will give you what is your very own? No servant can be the slave of two masters. He will either hate the first and love the second, or treat the first with respect and the second with scorn. You cannot be the slave both of God and of money. The Pharisees who loved money heard all this and laughed at him. He said to them, You are the very ones who pass yourselves off as virtuous in people's sight. But God knows your hearts, for what is thought of highly by men is loathsome in the sight of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Here Jesus seems to be distressed that the Pharisees are not even taking what he has to say about the love for money seriously. The man who can be trusted in little things can be trusted in great. My friends, sometimes we want to be trusted in great things, but we are not very honest with little things because we think that this little thing is not going to be noticed. It may not be noticed, but over time, someone will notice. And when that is noticed, your reputation is tainted forever. Integrity can be ruined by temptation. We are, te we are always tempted that to bend the rules for certain reasons. Sometimes it can be, be the reason could be that this is a small matter. It is not a big deal. Or the reason could be in terms of our interpretation of giving ourselves reasons to bend these rules. There are so many reasons we can give or so many ways we can interpret our thinking so that it makes us justify the wrongdoing that we do. So beware of misinterpretation. Interpret according to the commons, common understanding, the common standard and keep your integrity in check whether it's a small thing or a great thing, because, because inside you, your integrity will become weakened and it will eat away at yourself and you cannot be in tune with your being, be in tune with your, with your relationship with God. So keep 
your integrity in check all the time. That is my thought for today. Have a good day.